All right, all right. Man, it's been a long time. I haven't put out a video in, what, a, at least a month, if not more. Um, well, I guess it has been more, hadn't it? Because I spent all of February in bed. I had massive uh, uh, back problems and the lower back ended up being a herniated disc and then the sciatica nerve and all that good stuff. And I was in bed from February 2nd till the 28th. Man, that was uh, that was a rough one. Um, and I've been taking it easy, trying to get back into things, and I'm finally going to do a video. Um, I'm way behind on stuff, but you know that's the way it goes. I'm able to do some other stuff uh, inside, you know, with some of my other businesses or whatever. But uh, uh, but it feels good to be back outside, and I'm just going to look at a lawnmower right now it's a friend of mine that uh he dropped it off before february he said man no rush and i called him back going dude i i'm not going to be able to work on this for a while and he said that's fine this is actually his uh uh secondary machine and it's a heavy duty one uh he uses it out on uh when he's at construction sites and stuff and uh and he has a new one that he you know uses at home so well, let's take a look at it. Well, there it is. This is a Craftsman. It's a seven horsepower. It's a pretty beefy engine. And, uh, yeah, you can see it has a, a throttle control, uh, the blade engagement, all that good stuff. Uh, it, it's a pretty heavy duty uh, lawnmower, to tell you the truth. I think it has been a year since I've worked on this. Now, he said uh, he was using it, and I'm sure it was out on a construction site, like I said, when they were clearing some stuff off, and he ran over a you know, like a, uh, a two by four or something. I forget what he said it was. And since then, I mean, it'll start up, but it won't, it just shuts down. So I'll take a look at it. And I guess I need to, uh, check out the blade and all that good stuff and see if, uh, if anything was damaged, you know? Well, let's get this moved over. See if we can get it to start. All right, it's got gas. Oil well, looks good. hear it. Let's see if it'll crank. some vibrations going on.
tried to die there and I played with the throttle and it kicked in so I'm going to take a look at uh, at the carburetor look at the bowl and see if there's anything that needs to be cleaned on it but the biggest thing I'm seeing is uh, in feeling is vibrations going on so I'm going to flip this thing over and uh, Let's take a look at the blade and see if it's been damaged or anything. So before I look at anything, let's pull the spark plug up and uh, let's take a look underneath. All right, so I'm going to flip it over, turn it on its side, and make sure you always have the like the oils on this side. Tip it over that way, right? If the oil is on this side, like on. Uh, Hondas or something, then you'd want to flip it the other way. That will help keep uh, oil and all that stuff from getting down into your carburetor. And... All right, can you see all that? That is not good. So, let's see if you can see it from this angle. So, as I start turning it around, you can see how all this is moving. I think the crankshaft is slightly bent. It's almost long enough. But the deal is I want to put something that with a straight edge kind of that will uh, that I can hold up against this and as I turn it we'll see if uh, see it moving big time from over here now look how high it is now it's back here so yeah I don't know what to tell them on that sometimes I can uh, like here's the high point there's the low point. So with the high point like right there, I will, uh, sometimes I can get a hammer and uh, I'll take all this off and I'll just give it a good whack, you know? And uh, it's a redneck way of doing it, but sometimes it works. Um, Cause this one isn't that bad. It's not that far off, but uh, if if you start banging on the on the axle shaft like that and try to bend it back into shape, then you can ruin the seal under here, and uh, and it'll eventually start leaking. But with the bent crankshaft like this, you're going to run into that anyway, right? It's going it's all lopsided, rolling back and forth, and pretty soon it's going to start leaking oil, and you'll have to replace the seal. But uh, well, let me take the. The blade off and they'll see what we can do. I'm surprised if you whack something that hard the blade looks to be in pretty good shape. And see what happens. Yeah, I 
don't think it's gonna do it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I'm just going to have to tell them that uh, just to live with it for a little while, <laughs> see what he wants to do. Yeah, so the carburetor wasn't that bad. I just flushed it out and uh, didn't even film it because it uh, wasn't really no big deal. So it starts right up. Um, just sorry to say that the crankshaft is bent. Uh, it's still usable, but you sure feel the vibrations on your arms, you know, when you're when you're pushing along. So I'll see what he wants me to do. Uh, I try to hit it with a, that small mallet, you know. Uh, it's pretty heavy duty, but you know, if I really got after it <laughs> with a with a pretty big sledgehammer, I might be able to bend it back uh, a little. A little straighter nothing's perfect but then again by doing that I could really mess it up right so it's a judgment call if it was my own mower I would do it uh, but this is a friend of mine I will see what he wants me to do or if he just wants to pick it up and and go with it as is until the thing drops right so yeah it's too bad it's actually a pretty nice mower you know pretty heavy duty but uh, but I guess that's it I'll just give him a call and see what he wants see what he wants done right so uh well this was a short video uh this is the first after my uh my little back surgery ordeal but uh but i'll come on strong i'm feeling better every day so i'll start pumping out some more videos in the meantime you know uh, be sure to like be sure to subscribe and watch for the next video